Hello, my name is Terry Bro with MSR. I'm here today to introduce to you the, uh, the fly light tent. It's our two-person minimalist shelter, which uh, takes advantage of, uh, of your trekking poles that you already have with you. The purpose of the video is to show you some of the features of the fly light tent and to take you through the four easy steps of setup. So the first step is key with the fly light is lay it out on the ground and stake out all four corners tightly and evenly. That's going to ensure when you start to put the poles in that the floor in the tent is in the right location. So the next step is to insert your trekking poles into the front of the tent and we have these conveniently located pole pockets to, to securely locate the top of the pole. Now that you have the front of the fly light set up with your trekking poles, you'll go ahead and take the small red pole and insert it into the rear of the tent. And then stake it out securely. If you have more than two trekking poles with you, you can use the third one in place of the small red pole and leave the small red pole behind to save weight. So now that you have all of your stakes and your poles in place, you want to go around and, and uh, fine tune the tent and get the, uh, the optimal tension on the fabric. Now that we have the fly light tent set up, I'll show you some of the key features. Uh, plenty of room for two campers, uh, large, large awning, which keeps your, your gear dry in the front. Uh, ventilation on a tent like this is key and, and we incorporated a lot of mesh in this, in this tent. The two sides and a large uh, rear vent in the back to keep, uh, keep condensation under control. So there you have it, MSR's fly light tent built for the minimalist camper for one or for two. I'm Robin Big Agnes and I'm here to talk to you about the new Pump House Ultra Sleeping Pad Pump. Doubling as a stuff sack, backcountry shower, or dry sack, and weighing mere ounces, this pad pump just made blowing up your pad the easiest part of camp setup. The Pump House Ultra drastically reduces sleeping pad inflation time by gathering a large amount of air at once and easily pushing it through the in valve. It's made with durable, aviation grade ultralight fabric and securely attaches to AXL Core Ultra, Air Core, and Insulated Air Core Ultra, and Q Core SLX sleeping pads. The Pump House Ultra can also be used with standard sized traditional valves on other pads. Never go camping again without your multi use Pump House Ultra pad pump again. You'll be the most popular kid in the camp. Hey guys, this is Derek with Alps Brands. Today I wanted to go over our Ready Light Low Chair. It's made of a 420D honeycomb ripstop material. It's got a really lightweight aluminum frame, but very durable. This is the pack bag that it comes in. It weighs just over two pounds. Whenever you open it up, all your parts are in there. It's got instructions on the lid. You can read through those if you need help. The bottom plate is numbered, so you have ones and twos. Your poles are numbered accordingly, so you just line up the numbers. The back poles are corded together. Put them in. Here's the chair. Reinforced corners. Just put those over each side. I always start with the front of the chair. These have a little bit more flex, a little easier to bend to put in through the corners. There's your ready light low chair. That's perfect for a lightweight camp set. You can bring it to a kid's ball game, to concerts, or anything like that. If you need more details, go to alpsbrands.com.
So the question is, which SOL shelter is right for you? It's really a question of risk level. When I'm going out on a day trip or a short hike, I take the three and a half ounce emergency bivy, which reflects 90% of body heat and has seam sealed edges to keep the wind, water, and rain out. This ultralight bivy is the one to take when your risk of an unplanned night out is lowest. The SOL thermal bivy is a little over nine ounces, but it's non-woven fabric is more durable and more comfortable. Its 80% heat reflection is slightly lower than the emergency bivy, but the thicker fabric helps keep heat inside. With an adjustable side closure and foot vent, you can control the temperature inside the bivy and vent for condensation. The thermal bivy is even warm enough to be used on its own as a warm weather sleep system down to 50 degrees. The eight and a half ounce SOL Escape bivy is the most fully featured of the three offering heat reflection, durability, and breathability, so you stay warm and dry. With a quarter length side zipper and a draw cord hood closure, you can batten down the hatches in extreme weather or leave the bivy partially open in warmer climates. The Escape's versatility sets it apart too. In warm weather, use it instead of your sleeping bag on an ultralight trip, or crawl into it wearing a down jacket on a cooler fall night. In the winter, put your down sleeping bag inside the Escape to boost its temperature rating. The Escape is the one to choose when you want the best, the most durable and versatile backcountry shelter we have ever introduced. With the SOL line of shelters, compromise is a thing of the past. SOL offers the right shelter for every trip to keep you safe during any night in the backcountry.